Hi, my name is Tilman. Um, I'm Lauren, and um, we've been married for how long have we been married? Eleven for years. Eleven years now in April. The values that we try to teach our kids is just to, um, in this family, we love each other, and um, if we hurt each other, hopefully by accident, um, we say sorry. Get me your mom too. Say your marriage is your mom. <laughs> What's very important for us is prayer time before we go to bed and it's really amazing to see how absorbent the kids are. It comes with its challenges as well, especially if your kids come with these questions and you think, I'm not quite sure how to answer that. <laughs> We've actually got traditions in our family as well, where every June holiday, for example, um, is a family holiday. There's a point where, where that selfishness of, of that's natural to us um, needs to be pushed aside in order, to, in order to raise kids. It should always be 100% um, a partnership before you even get to the point of children. It was quite a shift in my mind from being a dad of the kids and raising them to be good adults, but to being a facilitator in um, helping my kids and teaching my kids and showing my kids um, how to meet the Lord and where to meet the Lord. And we've had the experience with, with one of our children where they have regressed in certain things and you realize that there's nothing else that you can do at this stage but rather than just to rely on the Lord and to, to, to walk into some of these things um, um, in unity and that's all you can do. Where there's unity, God commands a blessing and we're trusting, we trust every day for that blessing and we'll fast together for it. Um, there's been a couple of situations where we've fasted like once a week and really thankful also that we are able to do that and, and to know that um, the Lord's hearing us and He's with us. I might have a horrible day at work and challenging traffic situations and I get home and I'm frustrated and I take the frustrations out on the kids very often, short-tempered, what are the words, English not words? Not so much patience. Yeah, yeah, the patience that exists. But, but not majorly. Yes, no, a bit. of course. But the, the great thing is then, then Lauren just kicks in. She picks it up immediately and she kind of takes over handling the kids when they misbehave or whatever um, so that I don't misbehave. <laughs> it is true. Our biggest desire for our kids is not to be great adults, but is to be, um, to, to be children that, of God that God is going to be proud of and that, that I think that will make us the proudest um, parents possible as well.